my name is Derek Hill. Uh, I have a long history here at Pebble Beach myself. My father was here starting in 1950. In fact, uh, the very year that's it's important to what Aston Martin is celebrating over here today, which is the 70th anniversary of their first import of sports car in the United States. My father, at age 24 years old, was uh, writing for Road and Track magazine, or asked, in fact, to do some road tests, as he was one of the quirky one into these British cars at that time. And he fell in love with the DB24. Uh, he, he loved it so much, he just had to have it. And, uh, and so the, the, rest, the rest was history. Um, this is also uh, a place where we have the Concord on Sunday, and I'm going to be master of ceremonies for that, for those people who stay around. But we have a lot to get into today, so without further ado, uh, we'd love to hear from Lawrence and Tobias. Uh, and, and we'll start with Lawrence. You know, it's uh, been, a, been a very interesting past case 12 months. Uh, tell us a little about your journey with Aston Martin. Well, that's been an incredible journey. Journey is the right word. Uh, became executive chairman uh, a little over a year ago, 14, 15 months ago. Um, Took over the company at probably the most troubled time of the start of pandemic, uh, and set out to achieve five milestones in challenging times. And the first was to put the company on financial found, sound and strong resilience footing, and, um, and we came up with a business plan which brings us to 10,000 cars by 2025, and we came up with the full funding to fund that business plan of 10,000 cars by 2025 on the level of my investment between the investment in Aston Martin Uganda and between the investment in Aston Martin Formula One is, uh, is quite significant, roughly a billion dollars. Excited here today to be in Pebble Beach as our first step in North America to be able, after COVID, to present, and I think this stand shows what Aston Martin's future is all about. So 
some might think you simply remove the top. You, you just take the saw to it. How complex was the process? It is still on the journey, so we did engineer work. But honestly, it is, yeah, we took off the hard top or the, the, up the roof kind of. And we have, we have a roof segment uh, what we can put in there. Um, but to be honest, the top is unbelievable from a stiffness perspective. So it was not a big exercise for us regarding the stiffness. You have to um, consider the open top driving when it comes to the error and the active error. But everything else is, the car is really strong and capable to do that. 